Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. Here's the deal. Speedy B a company you probably all know and love, perhaps, came out with an updated version of their F405 stack. It's the V4. Last version was the V3. This is the V4. And of course, when I say stack, we're talking about a 4-in-1 ESC board stacked underneath a flight controller board. Both of these are 30 by 30 hole spacing. So uh, bottom line is they sent this to me to check out and I don't have actually time to check it out. So what I'm gonna do is actually just pay it forward and pass it on to you guys. But this is a pretty sweet stack and I would actually love to keep this, but that's what we do here at RC with Adam. We pass the savings on to you. So. That's what we're gonna do. Uh, check the full description. Check the description of this video for the full giveaway details. But basically, leave one comment only. Because if you leave two, just go ahead and delete it. Because I'm gonna filter you out if you leave more than one comment on this video. And then in about let's say two weeks' time, I'll have the date in the description of this video. I'm gonna randomly pick a winner, and I'm going to publish that video uh, of announcing who the winner is. So you gotta come back for the video. That's kind of the catch, is I'm gonna get you to comment on this video and, and get some views and some comments and buzz going, and then I'm gonna make a video saying who won, and then I'm gonna get you to tune in to that as well. So that's kind of the trade-off. It takes a little bit of your time, but you're gonna get a completely free stack. And the price on this is right at $70, $69.99 US dollars. And I'm gonna go ahead and pay for shipping because I think that's the best way to do a giveaway because then it's like, it really is, you just get you just enter your name and then you like get a thing if you win and it's really cool and you don't have to like pay for shipping and I don't have to get your information and you send me money or blah 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 so that's something that I would like to do to uh, hopefully bless somebody out there somebody out there needs this stack is what I'm thinking also that somebody had better be in the United States because this is going to be a continental United States only and that just simplifies things and then I don't have to think about much and the shipping won't cost a lot of money giveaway stuff out of the way let's get into this stack um I just thought basically the, the best thing that I could do is kind of I don't know walk you through this some of the features that and we'll take a look at these together um as you can see it looks great fantastic looking stack way to go speedy b um, and what they're really pushing here is that it's just like super, super budget feature rich. Like, I honestly, I don't know. I'm not sure why you would go with a different stack unless you wanted like even higher quality or something. Because the features that they're that they're supposing here are just crazy. And so a couple things to note uh, that I want to point out is that I love that SpeedyB went ahead and labeled like everything. Like there, there's so much writing on this stack. I was like, is this a book or a flight controller? And spoiler, it's a flight controller, but there's a lot of writing on there and they label pretty much, uh, I think every single pad. And it's very helpful because then you don't have to, um, you don't have to like constantly look at a reference chart like Flywoo does that a lot and maybe some other companies where they just have pads and you're like, what the heck is this pad? And it's like, I don't even know. Uh, so that's fantastic. Also, I really like that they put in a longer uh, cable to connect from the flight controller to the ESC board because that is a situation that I run into a lot and I almost feel like they heard me the last time when I reviewed the, the, the previous uh, version of this stack. Um, because I was having trouble fitting it into the frame and it's kind of tricky because you know you want to put usually you put your video transmitter in the back of the of the drone um, but then you have the XT60 coming out the back you know the connection the battery connection lead and then that can run into your video transmitter which becomes a problem obviously so the one solution to that is you just flip your stack around uh, or your uh, your 4-in-1 ESC and you basically rotate it uh, so it's so that the battery leads are pointing forward um, and then you know that could potentially uh, help it fit better into certain frames and setups and stuff like that so they have that longer cable so that you can actually connect it in that fashion I think that's that's really, really thoughtful. And they have um, a connector for uh, DJI. So a plug and play connector for DJI stuff. And then everything else is just uh, solder pads. And this does work for an X8 setup, or uh, basically the flight controller will control eight motors, but you're gonna need to get another um, uh, ESC board for that. Cause this ESC board is just for four motors. So this is a 55 amp, they call it. Uh, they call it a real 55 amp. That's a lot of amps. And then the burst rating I think is a lot higher. So, uh, so in case you're wondering, hey, what's the difference between this new stack, the V4 and the V3? Well, I'll tell you, the V3 is old and dumb because it's old. And the V4 is amazing because it's new. And uh, I'm just kidding. But it's uh, here's a little chart here that SpeedyB sent me. I'm going to show you guys. Um, I have not confirmed any of this information just so you know like that they're sending me. I'm just kind of passing it along because uh, I don't have the time or the inclination to actually do that. Um, but it looks like basically they, they kind of beefed it up. They kind of put in uh, a, a few better components, some better chippy chips. And then um, the especially like for the ESC board, it's a heavier uh, copper uh, in the, the ESC. And they added that, uh, that big heat sink there. <clears throat> Which honestly, I kind of wonder about the heatsink because, you know, on the one hand, that's definitely good, but on the other hand, it doesn't have a bunch of fins cut into it, and so I would think that you would really want a lot of cooling fins to increase that surface area. But uh, but I suppose a big chunk of aluminum with a few little ridge things cut in there is, is still probably better than uh, nothing at all. So it does uh, increase the weight, you know, by a few grams. Um, actually, uh, let's see. Yeah, it says uh, heatsink weight. Yeah, so it basically adds uh, 4.3 grams just with the heatsink, and then the weight of the heatsink or the weight of the boards. The old board was 13.8 grams. The new board is 23.5 grams. So that's like a lot uh, a lot a lot heavier but um you know i think i think it's probably worth the wait when you're talking about increasing the the amperage of availability and uh and and performance and all that kind of stuff so that's basically what you're looking at um 
big, I would say pretty noticeable improvement on the ESC stack as well. Um, and then here's a chart comparing um, the, this stack with other brand brands of stacks, which I think is pretty cool, but it is a, uh, it is a nice comparison. Um, and you know, this, this stack really, it is it's so crazy how good all the stacks are and how cheap they all are uh, compared to, you know, just a few years ago. Um, but so this one, you know, we're looking at some of the features it has. Um, so one of the big things actually that this one has is built in Bluetooth um, and combine that with the speedy B uh, flight configurator app. It's that's actually super duper useful. Um, now, sometimes Bluetooth can be finicky as any wireless connection can. But then again, the wired connections aren't always that much better. Um, and so I find it super helpful to be able to use that uh, the Bluetooth capability especially if I've added a waterproof coating uh, to the flight controller and it may be very difficult to um, to get to the USB port. And this is a USB-C port, by the way, which I much prefer the USB-C ports. Um, or maybe it's a really tight build and you don't want to take things apart to get to it. That can be super duper 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 helpful. Uh, so there's a comparison there of it with different stacks. Let's uh, switch over. Oh, let's go ahead and show the dimensions in case you just wanted to see what this would fit into. Um, I really like that uh, they, they left quite a bit of space for um, cooling. Uh, space for this this picture that I'm looking at on the dimension sheet. Well, I don't know what happened there. The dimension sheet is uh, it doesn't make much sense because it's the, the the grommets are like not sticking out far enough. But it appeared to me that the grommets would stick out far enough. Probably shouldn't even mention that, but that's okay. Um, here's our wiring diagram. <clears throat> Uh, wiring diagram you can basically just hook up anything to this thing i mean it, they they really they've thought of like everything um and you know so one thing to keep in mind is and they, sh they say this in here uh somewhere they say it somewhere is um that if you are going to use the dji uh, connectors with a different receiver like i would because i use crossfire primarily um then you're going to want to uh, disconnect the s bus wire the s bus signal wire from that uh wiring um like the kind of the ribbon cable from from the connector cable uh, from the dji um vtx and I think they're saying possibly the same thing as well with uh, e ELRS receivers. And I am not super familiar with that. I haven't gotten into that. Um, and again, documentation wise, good job, Speedy B. Like very, 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 very impressed. Like they have this diagram here showing the layout and everything's like, you know, kind of kind of color coded. They tell you what's what and where the stuff is. I think that's super duper useful. Um, I still wish that they would include like a little you know, a little uh, paper manual. But uh, to be honest, since all the pads are labeled, if you kind of know what you're doing, you really shouldn't have a problem um, soldering things up without even looking at the manual. But again, other manufacturers sometimes don't label the board at all, um, which is awful. And then they've got uh, showing the underside as well. So they've got a big SD card, or not big SD, but uh, an SD card slot that can fit, I believe, up to four gigabyte SD card, which is nothing by today's standards, but for black box logging, which is where you basically record the flight data uh, from the flight controller. Um, that is that will actually hold uh, quite a lot because usually if it's an onboard uh, uh, data storage, it's measured in megabytes um, and not gigabytes. So that is really cool. They also have the uh, four LED strips on the corners, which I really like that as well. And I think that's very handy because you could you know easily get to those uh, solder points to, to get to those pads. And then also, and I haven't tested this out, but the fact that you can um, just press, I think it's press, you press the boot button and then it will turn on the LEDs. And then you don't have to like mess, or I think, I think you don't have to mess with Betaflight and hooking up like, you know, making those LEDs work and then making a switch on your radio, turn on the LEDs and blah, blah, blah. Because maybe it's just like getting dark and you're like, oh, let's turn on the LEDs and you just want them on all the time. So I think that's that's really cool. That's very thoughtful. Um, let's see here. And then, of course, just your standard, you know, four out, four motor outputs on the ESC. Really nothing nothing going on there very much. Um, they do also bother to show the MCU BB-21 um, and the MCU BB-21 as well, I guess. I guess those are, I don't know what those are, to be honest with you. Then they have the TVS diode, which we all know what that is. Just kidding, I don't really know what that is. But uh, and then it comes with the accessories. And they show the accessories here. And that's great. And it comes with an extra grommet for each stack. And yes, and then the two lengths of the cables and the DJI connector, which is great. And then the stack screws, which uh, those may or may not fit your frame depending on what frame you're putting this into. So that was like the specifications. The main features probably should have started with this, I guess, to be honest with you. But that's okay because with the magic of editing, I already put it at the beginning. They also have this lipo checker thing on the flight controller. I'm curious if anybody actually uses that. Um, I have not. I think that's I think that was on the the V3 and I just totally forgot about it. I don't use it at all. And I think the reason for that is because if I'm going to check the battery voltage, I'll probably have the the um, goggles turned on and then I'll probably just look at the OSD. And then apparently there was an SD card compatibility issue and that's now been fixed, which I was not aware of this, but that's nice of them to, you know, go ahead and fix that. So change motor directions wirelessly. Um I'm trying to remember if that was a thing that I could do. Yes, you can do this. Yes, yes, yes. Sometimes it's a little finicky I found with with uh, the app. Um but Yes, you can change the motor directions wirelessly, which is amazing compared to how it used to be. Um, and but here's the thing: I I still don't think you can uh, update the ESCs wirelessly. I'm not sure. I would think that they would integrate that, but I I don't know if you can do that through the SpeedyB app. Um, and then they have the TVS diode surge protection, which is great. And they got a TDK 35V MLCC filter and energy capacitor, which is pretty cool. And then of course they have that gigantic uh, capacitor, which is typical on um, drone 
uh, drone stacks. And then apparently they have cutouts for your FPV camera, which, yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I've never had a, that tight of a build where that is actually like useful. Um, <clears throat> and it do, they do have the five, five volt, three amp BEC and nine volt, three amp BEC. And that's important because the nine volt, uh, like those nine volt pads, those are going to power your uh, DJI um, air unit, um, unless you just use the connector, which that would just be part of the uh, the connector as well. So I think that covers it. We've talked about, uh, we've talked about the price, which is $70. We've talked about some of the specs I've shown you right here. It's uh, 30 by 30 hole spacing, which is actually, hey, let's just point this out. This is actually 30.5 by 30.5 hole spacing. So just so everybody knows, because I forget this myself as well, it's 30.5, like center to center on the whole spacing for some reason. And but we call them 30 by 30 stacks, which is confusing um, because we don't want to say 30.5 by 30.5 stacks. So that's just a thing to keep in mind. It doesn't really matter because everything that, that is built that to, to fit this is going to be is going to fit the 30.5 millimeter. But we just call them 30 by 30, which is so silly. In any case, there we go. We looked at all the differences uh, between the old version and the new version and some of the competitor version stacks and all that kind of stuff. All right, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to uh, leave a comment on this video and blah, 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 blah. Check the description below this video for the full giveaway details. Thanks again to Speedy B for sending this to me. Maybe I'll keep the next one, but this one is going to go to one of you lucky viewers out there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, keep on flying. Keep on creating. All right. Uh, don't get down in the dumps. Get get up in the air. And that's that's a saying that I just said. All right, have a good day, everybody. And I will see you again very soon. Probably soon, soon ish. But that doesn't sound as good as just, I will see you again very soon. Bye bye. We'll get, I mean, we get bars.